Not many people know this, but um, I have a little thing for Eurovision. You might have heard. Me and my mate Nigel, we've been to Eurovision three times. We went in 2011, we drove to Dusseldorf. We sat six rows from the back. You could hear me on the live broadcast. <laughs> Donna, Donna, Donna! Remember that? <laughs> we drove to Vienna last year. What an awesome time that was. And we met the amazing Anne-Marie David, who won in 1973 with Tutela Conetra. You will see yourself. Or the English version was called Wonderful Dream. I wanted to hear tonight, I did ask her. Ooh, she wants a lot of money. <laughs> we went again this year. We were so close to the red carpet that I say we were on the underlay. We were that close. And <laughs> they were all coming past us. We were talking to so many of them. We had loads of selfies with these guys. These guys do an amazing job. They, it's not about the music, obviously, because it's Eurovision. <laughs> it's about getting together with a lot of friends and a lot of family, a lot of fun. And it's, it's about fun, that's what it's all about. And this is what we like to do all the time. So, yeah, we, we actually met this year, we met the first winner, the lady who won in 1956, uh, a lady called Lisa Asher, who won for Switzerland. And she's about 92, 93, and she sang a song called Refrain. Refrain. Refrain, couleur du ciel, à fin de mer vingt-tom. You don't know it, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know this song? It's before I was even born. Um, so this year for us, with Eurovision, we've done so well, we've met a lot of Eurovision people. It got me thinking, um, where do we take this further? I'm, I did a little survey in the group in May time, and they said, you know, hey, what if we have a party? What do we do that? I was talking about doing October, or Athenaeum, you know, whatever. Couldn't get it. The date of the 18th of December came up. It is amazing because 18th of December is obviously the date that we're here today, which is why it's a Sunday, which is I'm sorry, you've got to go to work tomorrow, I don't. Um, <laughs> but it had to be today. And I did a few checks around and I started emailing. And I emailed the Brotherhood of Man Management. And I said, can you come and do this for me? I mean, what's your price and stuff and all this sort of stuff? We went back to the boys. Didn't feel I was getting very far. So um, I rang him up, and I said, there's me in my usual, talk, my usual way. <laughs> oh, and I said, oh, I'm so, so sorry. I said, I'm so sorry. I said, I'm really sorry. I didn't get your name. Who am I talking to? He said, it's Lee Sheridan. <laughs> I said, oh my God, it's you. It's you're the tall one on the left-hand side. It's Lee Sheridan. I said, you know, I said, Lee, I've got this group. You know, it's quite fun. <laughs> Would you come and do me a, group, a big party? And they said, yes, they would absolutely love to. Please give a very, very big, we love very seven's welcome to the Brotherhood of Man! <laughs> And hi from Brotherhood of Man! Oh, well. A night to remember, this is. After this, you may want to forget it. But, well, actually, it's a night to remember for me because my brother and family live just down the road in Stanton. Anybody live there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Andy's here. You better leave, brother. Ah, oh dear. Well, I tell you what, we do do, we do, we do do, we do come over at this side of the, uh, the world because we go to Great Yarmouth and Lower Self and all that and do concerts there, but we've never been here. So, oh, isn't that nice? Oh, from the back up there. Uh, no, we've never been here actually in this, this part. So uh, there's always a question we have to ask when we come into new territory, and that is, are you in a 70s mood? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <sounds good. laughs> All right, let's get on with it. This next one took us into the charts. 1978. It was Beautiful Lover.
Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And hi from me. My name's Sandra, so how are you all? Yeah. Actually, I don't really think I need to ask, because you look like you're having a good time. Isn't this a lovely place? Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? We could do with working more of places like this, couldn't we, I think? But, you know, talking of working, I mean, we've been together now for 44 years. Makeup gets thicker? It does, but no, you know, that's for the guys. Not for you and I, Nikki, is it? No, not for us. <laughs> no, gone are the days of Lancome and all that. They're over for us. But no, I mean, I think during these years as well, we've had some great times. We've worked with some wonderful stars throughout our life and, uh, yeah, had a great time. And I think we've sung some pretty nice songs as well. This next song took us to number one in 1977. That's not too long ago, is it? <laughs> 1977, can we remember it? Yeah, it took us to number one, it's Angelo. some of you taking photos which is great you know we like that we like you to have your photos and we like we, we like to see them because we like looking at photos of ourselves you see it's always <laughs> nice to do that so what you could do if you wanted to you could put them on our Facebook page and um, and then we can share them with all our friends who can't be here tonight so if you'd like to do that it's facebook.com forward slash brotherhood of man and we'll give you a name check if you do that. And, uh, oh, by the way, just photos, no videos. We're not allowed to put the videos on, so we... So just photos, if you would, please. But um, while you're there, you can have a look, read all about us, see how we started, what we looked like when we were younger. And, uh, 
And which leads me nicely actually into this next song because this is the one made it all possible for Brotherhood of Man right back at the very beginning. Not that one, but United We Stand. Angelo. One of them won, one of the number ones won a song contest back in 1876, I think it was. Do, do you remember that one? Or was it 18? No, no, sorry, 1976. I'm giving the ages away now. Yeah, 1976. So you remember that one? Ah. Would you like to sing it with us? <laughs> Can you remember the words? Oh, they're very confident here, aren't they? Eh? Yes, 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 all the time. Okay, follow me. Say your about as far as they get. <laughs> now and again we get da 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 da. But not tonight. 
Huh? We did? Oh, right. Very good. Whistling is no good, is it? Right, so that takes care of that one. Uh, so let's move on. Let's move on. Let's, uh, we've done that one now. So let's move on. Uh, all oh, right, where was I? Yeah, 1970, uh, let's move to 1978. 1978, we had another number one. Can anybody tell me what that was? You've got it, Figaro!
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And have you noticed how they've left me until last to speak? <laughs> they've been doing this, you know, for 44 years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I paid you well, a few vodkas, that's all, that was good. But you see, for two reasons. One, they never know what I'm going to say, and the other is because I'm Welsh. No, no, nothing against the I don't suppose we have any Welsh people in tonight. No. Never mind. <laughs> well, do you know, back in the 70s, it was such a great time. It was a time when Melody absolutely did... Quiet, please, I'm talking. <laughs> it was a time when Melody prevailed and a time when anybody could sing any song. For instance, do you remember this one? Where's your mama gone? The rivers of what you're singing lovely I tell you what now you're all singing tidily in tune oh and t uh, how, how do we say in Wales cracking now this is one for the ladies do you remember there was a group of brothers that came from America one of them in particular oh he was handsome Wonderful dark hair, ladies and gentlemen. Teeth that stretch from here to Ipswich. Who am I talking about? You've got it. And they called it. Oh, I guess they'll never know. How a young heart really feels. Gosh, that's so melodic. I tell you what, you know, I, I reckon they could sing anything. What about Alice? We'll see. Okay, here's one for you. The hills are alive. With the sound of music. High on a hill, there's a lonely goat herd. Of course, there's one song. <laughs> called Hold That Tiger. <laughs> now, there's one song, uh, obviously, that we, we can't leave out because you couldn't sing it, so. <laughs> so I suppose we've got to do the job. Uh, you know, we always get left with this one. Anyway, um, we're going to take you back. We're going to take you back 40 years. 40 years, to a place in Holland at Den Haag. And the year was 1976.
Here are the final results of the Eurovision Song Contest from The Hague in Holland. In third place, Monaco with 93 points. In second place, France with 147 points. In first place, for the United Kingdom, with 164 points.